shit. You're trash. Well, well, that too, but. Be original, but bitch. not that one, but. Everybody tells me bet that my intros are too damn long, but you know what? You know, sometimes you just don't give a damn. Okay, and that's one of those situations, you know what? Sometimes I just get lost in the shit. Um, well, welcome. Hello, how are you? I want to make sure everything is working properly. Um, if you are just joining us, I'm adjusting myself, but my name is Armand, um, and welcome to The Greatest Show on YouTube. Now, if you're a returning subscriber, then you know how this typically goes. Some shit might shut off, some shit might just turn off, some shit might just all up and just stop working, but we will uh, eventually get through the show. And if you are new, well, you know, welcome, and... Hello, motherfucker. Um, we welcome you here. And we like to get into some things. And hopefully by the end of this video, you may consider subscribing and actually hit that subscribe button. Okay, so without further ado, I want to get into some things. Now, this is my official response to the rapper Cash Doll. <laughs> Now, for some of those who may not know who Cash Doll is, because I'm not sure if everybody does, and there's no shade or anything like that, um, she is a female rapper. Hold on, let me pull her up. She's a female MC out of Detroit. This is Cash Doll here. Um, she did the song, the feature with, uh, 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 what's his name? Big Sean. What's another Cash Doll song? Uh, uh. She had one of those songs on her mixtape. You know, the Cash Doll fans are going to kill me. But it was just like, it was a song. <laughs> Damn, that was bad. But, it, I mean, it was a song, okay? And then she has the other uh, Ice Me Out. And then, you know, Ice Me Out. Nigga, Ice Me Out. And then, uh, heard you bitches was looking for me. Bitch, here I go! <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> she had that song, too. Now, I made a video about her a few months ago, okay? And, well, I'm going to play the video to you, and then I'll tell you what she said, and then I'll give you my response, okay? So, let me tell you, let me show you what I said about Cash Doll. Now, to give you a little preview, I was talking about female rappers, which female MCs are up next, who is going to be up next for the, the title of the next queen of rap or who should be yada, yada, yada. So we were having that whole female rap debate here on the show and I mentioned Cash Doll. And so um, I made some statements about her. And well, take a look and then we'll talk. Let's see. And Cash Doll has bars. I fuck with Cash Doll. I fuck with her attitude. I like her persona. I just, I love everything about Cash Doll. I do feel like the industry has tried her though. So I feel like if Cash Doll, <sighs> here's the thing. I don't know if Cash Doll is going to happen the way that she would like it to happen. Because I really think that Cash Doll has happened. I feel like Cash Doll has happened as far as it's going to happen. And Cash Doll... Wow. Yep. And so, someone, one of the, one of my subscribers or supporters, um, somebody was being messy. They sent it to Cash Doll. She responded, um, and this is what she said. 
Um, someone said, she said, let's see. And then somebody said, yes, we will, queen. I'm going to do a blog, something, something, something. And then she goes, uh, let's see if he would be saying that by the end of the year. Well, it's the end of the year. <laughs> and it's time to find out <laughs> what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> You're trapped. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Seriously. seriously, seriously. <laughs> it just fits so far. It just fit right there. I, I, she's not trash. Now, okay, I have to be honest. So Cash Doll at this time was still in her management deal or contract, and she had been waiting to get out of her contract. She's finally, she's since then been released from her contract, so now she's free to make whatever music that she wants. I think she put out, like, some type of mixtape or an EP. It was okay. Um... So we're at the end of the year now, and, and I still feel the same way. I feel as though Cash Doll has happened as far as Cash Doll is going to happen. I think she may have happened a little bit more, but I think she's now a, more of a socialite. Um, she's respected for her music. Um, she does concerts here and there, but I don't think that, uh, that Cash Doll will ever be on the level of a Nicki Minaj. She'll never be on the level of a Cardi B. Um, she'll just never be a megastar, iconic female rapper. Cash Doll doesn't even have a song on the billboard. Um, so, no, I don't think that she's going to happen. Um, now, some will say, well, Cash Doll dropped two singles. Um, the I Heard You Bitches Was Looking For Me and the uh, Ice Me Out. Okay, so the first song... I heard you bitch was looking for me. That song was a flop. I don't know. That song, I just kind of felt like I would just have to like hop out of weird places. You know what I mean? Like, it, I heard you bitch was looking for me. Bitch, here I go. Bitch, here I go. You know what I'm saying? You just feel like you gotta like pop out of somewhere. I heard, you know what I mean? It was very much like, I heard you bitches was looking for me. Bitch, here I go. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, that wasn't good. Like, <laughs> That was almost stupid. <laughs> stupid. Seriously, that was a that was a stupid song, um, and it and and and, and then it was goofy. Like she literally had people like well, people were making videos coming out of like closets and grocery store and washing machines and ovens, and it was just made so comical. Like you couldn't take the song seriously, and then. Um, the, the ice me out, nigga, ice me out. Okay. That song, I'm not gonna lie. That song is catchy and it is better than the other song. Now I will say, I like that song. I really, really like that song. She got one with that, but still, I don't hear that song anywhere else, but on the internet when she reshares it to her page, like I don't hear anybody talking about that record. I don't see that record being played anywhere. I don't hear it on the radio stations here in California. I don't, you know, so I don't hear it in the clubs. I hear it on her page. I hear it when she talks about it. Um, so again, um, I will say that I'm noticing her a little bit more. She seems to be happier that she's out of her contract, but I just don't see her just making excellent songs like the songs are very mediocre to me and the production of the songs are just okay or i don't know she seems to have a lot of money or enough money to get it uh produced better i just kind of feel like the level of the 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 beat the the production the engineering the lyrics i mean just the song in its entirety just seems very low budget And I, I just don't feel like she's coming for a spot. I think that her spot is where it's at right now. I think I think she'll do some features. I think they'll be great. I don't think that she's going to have any platinum records. I don't think that she's going to have any Billboard top tens. I don't think she's going to have any Billboard 
Hot 100s unless she does a feature with a major artist or something like that. But I don't think she's going to get one on her own. I could be wrong. But from what I'm seeing now, at the end of the year, she said, we'll see what he's saying. I'm saying this, Cash Doll. You've had one and a half decent songs. The the Heard You Bitches Was Looking For Me, that was just more some goofy shit. But the... Uh, the Ice Me Out, okay, that was a cute song. That I guess we'll say that was a hit for you. Um, it, 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 it was good. So I, I'm saying, you know, it, it moved a little bit. You're moving a little bit. You're moving a little bit, but you still got a long way to go. And, and I'm not totally convinced that Cash Doll is just going to happen and be this mega female rapper. I think she's where she's at, and it's cool. I don't see her being the queen of rap. Like, I don't feel like I don't see her winning best female artist at any award, best female hip hop artist at any award show. I don't see her getting nominated for any major award. I don't see her getting best female rapper or a nomination at the BET Awards. Well, you know what? The BET Awards, they might give her a nomination just because they be reaching. But. Yeah, I guess she's doing a little bit better, but I really don't, I still don't think Cash Draw is going to happen. I think she's more of a socialite that makes music. I would be lying to you to be if I sit here and was like, bitch, Cash Draw is about to be is up next. Cash Draw is up next. That's a lie. Cash Draw is not up next. I'm sorry, Cash Doll. I love you. I love your personality. It's so genuine. You remind me of a friend that I once had from Detroit. I really hope you don't take this as me bashing you. Just prove me wrong, please. I like you. I just feel like, and I did say you had bars, but I feel like the flow is a little bit, the flow is kind of whack too now. Like after really getting into it, like the flow mixed with the production of the song, the quality of the song, just the type of the melodies of the song. Like it's just kind of cheap. It just feels cheap. And I get it. Some people will say, well, she's independent. She's independent. She's independent. I get it. But she also flaunts her money. So, girl, it don't look like you have an independent budget. So you should put a little bit more money into the production of these records. Get some better producers. Get some better writers. And really produce something current and something that can you know get some radio play not just you know on your instagram story girl but i will say ice me out was good so we're gonna give ice me out some air horns because i did see like niggas doing freestyles to it like ice me out i'm not gonna be a hater did kind of go a little viral okay like i said she's buzzing a little bit more than she was when I when I originally talked about her. I do have to say that. But is it enough to be like Cash Doll is up next? Absolutely not. Uh, I still kind of feel the same way. Cash Doll has happened. Now, maybe after this song, um, she'll get a few more features. But I just don't feel like she is going to be the next hottest female in rap. She is not going to be the next hottest female rapper. She's not. She's not. She's not. And and and, and that's okay. That's that's perfectly fine. But we have to live in reality. Cash all is good. Cash all is pretty. Cash all, you know, she she's like she can be like a Trina. You know, you know your place, you know your lane, you do your shows, you get your money, and you go home, and you be happy. You don't have to be considered the queen of rap. Just be a queen that raps. You ain't taking Cardi out. Cash Doll is not taking out Cardi B. Cash Doll damn sure not taking out Nicki Minaj. She ain't taking out nobody. So, uh, Cash Doll, with that being said, I still feel the same way, but... Congratulations on Nigga Ice Me Out. And 
Well, she said that I seen a, I seen a video of her uh, on her story. She said that Little Wayne knew her song. It sounded to me I, I could be being a hater, but it sounded to me as where you said "Ice Me Out." You actually said it first. You said "Nigga Ice Me Out." Then he said something, but I don't I don't think I heard Little Wayne recite your song. But you know what? Y'all met. You took pictures with him. You took. You met Rihanna. You took pictures with her. Um, that'll be a great feature. If you can get on the R Nine album, you're good. A Little Wayne feature, uh, I guess you you better be, you'd be better off getting on a track with Drake, honestly, because I seen that you took photo with Drake too. Um, what now? Would have really would have helped you cash all? I'll be real with you. You need to get a celebrity boyfriend. Like when people thought you were Meek Mill was doing something, that would have been hot. Go back, fuck with Meek Mill. What you need to do is start talking to Meek Mill, make a record, body it, because you seem to do well when you get on tracks with men. Like the uh, uh, the track with Big Sean, Big Sean So Good or whatever, that was excellent. But you need to get with like, like, a, like a Meek Mill right now. That would just be like over the top great. You got the body, you got the looks. Meek Mill's one of the hottest guys right now. Um, and then, you know, he's Nikki's ex. So that would just catapult you. You are going to need a co-sign from one of these men, uh, and you need to be dating them. Okay? Um, so you and your team need to figure out who likes you and who you like. Set that shit up. Get together. Then drop some music. But before you drop some music, make sure you drop a bag on a good engineer, a good writer, and a great producer. Okay, and then you know what, girl? We can revisit this again in six months. Or next year, whatever whatever is best for you. But I just wanted to respond to you now that we're at the end of the year. Okay? But shout out to Crash Dawn. Congratulations for, you know, getting out of your contract. Okay, keep working, queen. We see you. <laughs> All right, guys, so that wraps up this, uh, my response to Cash Doll. Huh, I hope she didn't really take it too personal. Cash Doll, you know, I still love you, girl. Now, if you guys made it to the end of this video, please smash the like button and click that subscribe button and make sure you get that notification bell right there. You see that notification? Click that too. So you know when I go live or when I've dropped a video, you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, it's a lot that goes on here and you do not want to miss this entertaining. Entertain meant at its finest and yes bitch in case she was wondering this is my do-rag because i have to be ready in case cash doll want to come try to snatch my edges after she see this video but until next time well you know how we do welcome to the greatest show on youtube my name is armand and i'll see you soon be original bitch be original bitch be original bitch Yeah.